Kuzmanski from ProjectCUE.com and this is going to be our first uh, video blog. So I'd like to start with uh, what's going on with my life that's related to gaming. Uh, first off, I haven't been playing much single player games, you know, I've been into this uh, gaming blues type of uh, thing, uh, mainly because uh, life and uh, final exams are approaching soon and you know, med medical life is very tense to get this uh, mood for playing games but uh, actually I've been uh, at least uh, keeping up with uh, multiplayer based games with my friends uh, mostly Smash Brothers, the Mario Kart GameCube unfortunately uh, nobody has been getting into the Wii version of Mario Kart yet uh, basically because uh, the battle mode uh, sucks and uh, I've been enjoying online play but uh, offline multiplayer hasn't been um, that uh, intense as the GameCube Mario Kart with my friends. Um, what else has been going on? Yeah, uh, I actually uh, showed my friends uh, Professor Dayton for DS uh, yesterday and the day before, and they've been really impressed with the game because it's uh, unlike anything they've, they've played before. And some of them, they don't like handheld uh, titles and handheld gaming in general. They think it's, you know, nerdy or I don't know I don't know why a lot of people think that why do you play handheld games as long as you have the console ones they don't realize that uh, it's a different experience maybe mostly because uh, uh, this generalization that comes with handheld titles that it's um, not as good as console gaming or not as big or as grandiose as uh, playing uh, epic games on consoles mainly because of the graphical presentation I guess but uh, they're missing out on a lot and uh, I've been trying to get a couple of people into it and maybe only one of my friends actually that's with me in medicine uh, I think I started with I gave him a link to the past uh, for the Game Boy Advance and I told him that this is a classic Super Nintendo title and he really really enjoyed it and he was really surprised so now we've been to the whole handheld thing DS um, he actually got uh, Zelda Phantom Hourglass for his fiance and he played it a couple of ch times and he was very surprised by the title um, I'm, I'm glad that he he's enjoying it and I'm, I'm hoping to get my friends into this handheld thing hmm what else that's been going on oh yeah um, that's it actually with like, life related to uh, my life related to gaming and stuff like that I don't have anything to add um, there's uh, one thing that has been bothering me in terms of gaming news uh, I'm sure a couple of you read my previous uh, blog on MSN or Li MSN Live Spaces about uh, the announcement of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and, Nuts and Bolts for 360 uh, I haven't been enjoying the fan reaction towards it right now everybody's negative because uh, it's totally a different direction for the series everybody has been call it, calling it various uh, uh, various things other than platforming because uh, the trailer mostly focused on the non-platforming stuff which is uh, creating your own uh, vehicle and uh, customization uh, I, I'm, I'm aware that uh, I mean fans yeah they should be a bit skeptical but not completely disappointed by the game because it's just a trailer and it only showed focused on one new aspect uh, Rare mentioned a lot of times that uh, platforming will still be uh, the platforming el elements of the previous uh, Banjo games are still going to be in the title in some shape or form uh, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm aware that maybe they've been hinting that it's going to be downsized compared to the grandiose Banjo 2 but for me it's good news because Banjo 2 was just too much it was too vast I didn't have time for it it takes 30 minutes to go from one world to the next just it was frustrating to me. I, I did like the balance in Banjo Kazooie because it did give you the feeling that platforming is there and and uh, it wasn't as uh, humongously huge as a Grand Theft Auto title or something like that. So yeah, uh, fans should actually wait and give this a chance because uh, platforming titles they're not they can't live now with only the, the basic collectathon elements and. Uh, pure platforming elements. There, you, you notice that uh, games like uh, Mario Galaxy and Ratchet and Clank still pertain their uh, their fan base because uh, they they actually it's a mix of platforming and another genre of games. 
So that's what that's what uh, basically Banjo Three is trying to do. It, it can't uh, platforming. 3D platforming is basically dead now. We we haven't been seeing any uh, great games lately. Uh, when you ask somebody the last platform great platform game that you played, they could either answer you Banjo uh, b- answer back uh, with uh, Mar- uh, Super Mario or uh, Ratchet and Clank because basically they keep things fresh by adding new elements by adding stuff from other genres like Ratchet and Clank is the maybe the most uh, the best example for this they it's a mix of shooter RPG and platforming elements uh, yeah th- that's one thing that uh, maybe fans should be like me are a bit skeptical of is how big are the platforming elements in Banjo 3 uh, well, I hope it's not completely downscaled because I think yeah, a lot of people sh- will be disappointed if, if there's no platforming or little platforming in the game. They should find this right balance with platforming and this new uh, vehicle mechanic. So I am really hoping that they that they do that. Um, another thing that has been bothering me uh, is uh, uh, the recent announcement of uh, two hu- two human being uh, downscaled. Uh, from uh, offline uh, and online multiplayer to uh, two-player online only multiplayer. Uh, this, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I'm, a lot of COE, uh, uh, my COE buddies did. You know, they like uh, teasing me a bit from here and there. I don't, I don't mind actually that uh, those uh, Ahmed, you you love uh, offline multiplayer or split screen multiplayer. Well, basically that's how things started with multiplayer. There wasn't any online with back then when with the Nintendo 64 when they first revealed Mario Kart 64 it, it, it completely innovated uh, f- multiplayer or simultaneous multiplayer uh, it was amazingly fun and until now it's been amazingly fun and I don't like it now now that developers are shifting towards online and downscaling offline multiplayer for us uh, for us gamers uh, because uh, it's, it's a it's a very it's a unique Offline multiplayer is very unique. It's different from online multiplayer. Your friend is with you, and you can interact with him, and you could uh, uh, cuss <laughs> when he beats you up on something. It's just uh, that's um, even Mario Kart Wii actually. Uh, it's offline multiplayer has been completely downsized, as I mentioned before in my review, and right now, um, uh, stuff like uh, little stuff like the frame rate. Uh, the Wii, you'll notice that the Wii version, the uh, Wii Mario Kart. Uh, downscales the frame rate to uh, down to half when you're playing more than three players offline or uh, going uh, two player uh, online. So why why didn't they focus on that um, stuff like yeah the battle mode has been downscaled offline uh, and Two Human is doing the same thing. There are a lot of other games that been uh, they've been uh, completely just uh, discarding offline multiplayer. I don't know why they're doing that. I'm I'm really hoping that developers pay attention that uh, offline gaming is still alive, it's not going to die anytime soon. Actually, a lot of players prefer that over online. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not trying to say that online multiplayer sucks, I'm just saying that uh, at least you should provide split screen offline or uh, a lot. Of, I'm, I'm glad that uh, people like uh, Rare actually did that for Perfect Dark Zero, for example. You could play split screen offline and and uh, and uh, all your friends can act, act as guests and all of you can go online at the same time so that's that was the, the, the most amazing experience ever we're, we're still playing perfect dark zero until now just because of that feature it's it's totally unique so i hope developers can uh, actually try uh, putting off online uh, putting uh, offline multiplayer these days um, and I guess that's basically it for my first uh, video blog. So give any suggestions, uh, any comments about my performance, about uh, how I uh, how I present the news to you people. And uh, hopefully I can do one of these th- soon. So uh, catch you later, guys. Bye.